after surgery, you might notice that you have leaking when you do certain activities like lifting the groceries out of the boot of the car or coughing or sneezing. This happens when the pressures pushing down from inside your abdomen are greater than the squeezing up pressures on the outlet tube. One good way around managing this is to use what we call the NAC. That's K-N-A-C-K. So when we talk about having the knack, what we mean is that you've got the knack of holding on before you do any of these activities. So let me explain. Using the example of lifting the groceries into the boot of the car, what you need to do is squeeze up your pelvic floor muscles hard, take hold of the bag, keep the muscles squeezing while you place the bag into the boot, then you can relax and then repeat it. Squeeze up your pelvic floor, brace it while you pick up the groceries, put them in the boot, then relax. Now, the knack can also be used as a great way of exercising. And to do that, you can do such things as squeezing up, cough, relax. Squeeze up, blow your nose, relax. This way, you're training the muscles to work in exactly the way you need them to work at exactly the right time. So it's not a bad idea to incorporate the knack into your exercise program. And it also means that you're doing exercises through the day as part of the activities of daily living. And you don't have to think so much about fitting in another lot of exercises. Remember I said, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And another important thing to remember is that as we get older, all of our muscles get a little bit weaker. This includes the muscles of the pelvic floor. If you learn to use the knack for the rest of your life, you're going to ensure that you will use it and you may not lose it. When you're working hard to be the boss of your bladder and you're following a bladder training program, it's much easier to do if you've got some sort of scorecard. So in the kit, you'll find a frequency volume chart or a bladder diary. Now this not only gives you an idea of what your bladder's doing when you started, you can watch your improvements, but it's not a bad idea to fill out a bladder chart for two or three days before you visit your healthcare professional, whether that's a physiotherapist, nurse continence advisor, or your doctor. A frequency bladder chart, a diary chart, gives them a really good picture of exactly just how your bladder's behaving. As part of the kit, you've got an exercise diary plan. Now this is important to help you improve and increase your muscle strength because we need to ask muscles to do more and more if we want them to get stronger. So as you can see on your exercise plan, you write down the date, how many exercises you managed to do in a row and how long you held each one of them. No muscles can get stronger unless you ask them to do more work using the exercise plan will help you to move onward and upward. You know, there are a quarter of a million Australian guys out there with leaking urine problems. To say nothing of the number of guys with lower urinary tract symptoms. You're not alone. When you're following these exercise programs, try as hard as you can, try consistently, but don't go too long without noticing some improvement before you seek help. There's plenty of help out there. Make an appointment to talk it through with your GP. See if your physiotherapist knows uh, and works in this particular area. See if there's a nurse continence advisor attached to your community health centre. There's lots of help. You're not alone. Don't go to it, guys, and good luck.